Hello, hello, how are you guys? Let's see, William, good evening, how are you? Evening. Susana, good evening. How are you? Good, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm I just fine, fine. Just fine. What about you? Yeah, relaxing. <laughs> Relax. That's great. <laughs> relaxing today. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. What did you do today? Tell me. Um, it's a, I had, I had work, but, um, it's easy. <coughs> no, no, it's a complicated, uh, look, I, I had. What I, I did, what I uh, did. What I did. Mm -hmm. yes. But, uh, the next, the next. A weekend, yes, it's a hard, a hard work. Next week. Next week, yes. Okay, it's tell me finish what are the... the finish the month. Okay, uh -huh. what are finish the plans the for tomorrow? And tomorrow, um, I I am going uh, to to see. Uh, to see, see I, I, I am going uh, no, I, I, I am going to see uh, my my son. Oh really to visit you're going to visit uh -huh. no see see uh, or watch <laughs> uh, but uh, he he's play soccer. Oh, mm -hmm. you're In, gonna watch him playing soccer. Uh huh. Uh, he he playing in cap in in cafe talon. Oh really? In That's nice. Turning. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, he is. Uh, he has. He has a. Uh, I. No. He he play. He playing uh, with uh, Fesa. Oh really? That's nice. Mm -hmm. So you are going to give support. Usted va a apoyar. Give support. Yes, is a hacer barra. Yeah, to give support. Ah, to give support. Yes. I. I. Yes, yes. I like uh, my song. Uh, the soccer. Huh. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Susana. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. William, hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good. How are you, mister? Pretty good, teacher. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. So tell me, what are the plans for tomorrow? What are you going to do? You're on vacation, right? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, uh, salir, como sabría? Go out. Go out. Uh, eat chicken. Chicken soup with my family. Mm, chicken soup? Yes. So Do you like that? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't need chicken soup. Is, is that but, issue, issue? Well, I can eat chicken soup, but uh, the white ones, not the, not la gallina india. That I don't accept. It. It's not for me. Nothing like like you, teacher. Yeah, no, that's not for me. It's delicious, teacher. India is delicious. Yes. No, it's terrible. The soup, the soup with rice and 
y, y con las huevitos eh, eggs with is delicious. Don't even talk about it. That's bad. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, Mister. Does not. Does not. Where is lock? I'm sorry. No, nah, well, it could be delicious. The only problem is that I don't like it. I don't need that. Yo no me como eso. I mean, no way. Your favorite, your favorite food teacher? Ooh. Mm. Well, I love Italian, but my favorite, 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 like normal food is uh, chiles rellenos. Yeah, I like that. The chile relleno with meat. Meat. And perhaps, I don't know, I love pacaya. I love flor de isote too. Pacaya, sí. I don't like. I, I love it. I love it. It's nice for me. It's, it's vegetarian. You eat it, sir. Well, no, I eat meat. Yo como carne, but not gallina india, not a beef soup either. So para rest tampoco. Teacher. Teacher, I, wa I, I was going to invite him to... Invite you. Invite in you. Invite you, uh-huh. Uh, sopa, soup, de gallina well, india. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. And it's pupusas and horchata. The teacher no. like a lot. <laughs> I don't like pupusas. Let, let, let me, let me, like let me be really honest. Teacher, you are weird. You don't yeah, like no, don't. Salvatoria. <laughs> and I don't like tamarindo either. Jesus. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I can eat everyday meat for me. No, I can eat meat, but not, not Kajina India and not beef soup. Those things I don't like. Ni gallina do, India, ni yeah. do you like Kusuko? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I don't like Kusuko. I like, I would rather eat uh, Garrobo. I mean, I, I eat Garrobo. I have eaten it. Mm. I have eaten tepesquintle. <laughs> Teacher and Lady Corpeño, por ustedes están extintos. Yeah, I used to eat. I mean, consomé de garrobo is good. Good. Perfect. I don't like. Oh, well, that's good. Perfect that's food. Consomé. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Well, let's see. So tell me, Janita, what about you? How was your day? Well, it was a normal day. I saw some cases. I received some calls. And I answered some email. But it was a very normal day. A regular day for you. And tell well, me, what so, so, uh, yes, yes. Only, only one thing was weird. I yes. prepare the lunch th this day because. Oh really? Yeah. You don't usually cook lunch? No, because I don't have time. But today. Okay, what did you cook? Tell me. Uh, what bistec? did you prepare? Beef steak. Beef steak. Do you want me to text it to you? Yes. Beef steak. Beef steak. Yeah. That's where the word bistec comes from. I'm sorry? They viene la palabra bistec. Ah, beef okay. Steak. Beef steak. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. A lot of onions? I love onions. Um, I prefer potatoes. Oh, really? Mm. Yes. I love That's potatoes. I, I make a bell. Of potatoes. Okay. What did you What did you drink with it? Uh, 
drink. Yes, what did you drink? I drink water. With beef steak? Water? Yes, I drink water. <laughs> Man, for a steak, you gotta drink a cold one. A cold one? Yes, a cold one. Uh, no, not really. I, I, I don't drink. Hard drinks. Hard drinks. Oh man, that's so bad. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry, Janita. Nobody's perfect. No me nadie perfect. Yeah, yeah. I I understand your uh how do you say gustos? Taste. Your taste. <laughs> well, you know, well, it depends. Actually, if I eat a steak at night, I would rather drink um Oh, well, even uh, for lunch, uh, red wine. Oh, really? Yes. With steaks, for the, for it's good. this, just, how do you say this? Digestion. Digestion. Yeah. Yeah, it's a digestive, right? And I mean, uh, a merlot would be cool. I don't drink big quantities. You don't know the quantities. I, I, like I, can, I can prepare drinking, but, but I don't like it. I don't drink I prefer I mean, margaritas. And oh, no. Cocktails. Else? Cocktails. I'm not that much into cocktails. The only cocktail I like is called, the only cocktail que se me gusta is Tom Collins. I don't know what is this. Oh, it's a very interesting one. It's actually called a digestive. You usually take it before your main course. You know that? That expression, let me text it for you. When you are talking about food and you talk about a main course, el platillo principal, okay. that's a main course. So you take a, a, a Tom Collins, it's, uh, let me see, it gets gin. And let me see what else. I don't think you will like gin. Lleva Ginebra. Uh -huh. and let me see. Let me get it for you right now, right now, right now. Okay. Well, what you get in a Tom Collins is gin. That's the main, the main, the main drink. Okay. And let's see, let's see. You get gin, limo, lemon juice, a little uh -huh. bit of soda, and some sugar. What kind of soda? Um, Sprite? Uh, no, 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 no. Mineral. Okay, okay. Okay, and in some places they put uh, they put uh, some coloring on it, but I would rather drink it clear because I mean, some people use, uh, some people use lime some people have sugar and peppermint. No, that's menta. Yerba buena. Yeah, peppermint. Maybe yerba buena. Yeah, peppermint. Yerba buena. It's good. I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the problem is this that gin, it's a drink that tastes like uh, you with feel the smell. With ice or without uh, ice? You can drink it with ice. Yeah, it's acceptable with ice, but I would rather have it just cold. And the problem is that gin is not that, this not the type Digestive. of liquor that everybody loves because yeah. the, smell, the smell is like uh, wool, huele a madera. Uh -huh. Maybe it tastes like that. Maybe a lot of people prefer vodka or rum. It's more common. You know, gin comes from a tree that is called enebro. El árbol de donde se saca la ginebra es enebro. Actually, you know the the the. Um, what is this cocktail that? ¿Cómo se llama este cocktail que toma? The, this character from the movies, uh, James Bond. Whiskey? 
No, 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 no. It takes a cocktail. El pide un. Mm. Se me olvida cómo se le llama el trago que pide. In the movies. I, I don't But, remember. Uh, Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, me neither. I just forgot it. But that drink, that uh, that. Let me see. Let me see. I need to remember. Blue Mary. Blue Mary. No, 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 no. Martini. A martini, yes, a martini. But he drinks a vodka martini. The original martini is with gin. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's one Mar of the Martini few... is, is only vodka with lime. 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 With lime. Yes. And you are uh, olives. Ah, yeah, olives. Yeah. One, like... one or two olives. Two is better, and you just move because, them. Because, okay, because you use uh, one down. And one with the, how do you say palillo? Stick. Oh, with the stick, with the stick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I mean, if you take a, you can bring gin just with the, just with ice and soda, like a lime soda, and just that, and add some, some olives, two or three olives, and it's okay with ice. And that's almost the only one, the only drink that I can take with soda because I mean, when it comes to liquors, I mean, I don't drink that much as I told you, but I like a better uh, a shot of scotch. I like whiskey, Gusta whiskey, just one shot or two tops. After having dinner is good. I go to sleep. It put <laughs> okay. me to sleep. It relaxed me. But this is I the only like, way that you take a nap. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's cool. It's cool, as I tell you. But as long as you drink just a little bit, because um, that type of drink, um, gin and scotch, if you drink a lot, the hangover is terrible. Terrible. The next day, you're oh man, man, it's horrible completely horrible the only thing that can that can uh, ease your pain perhaps is a a bloody mary really yeah you need another drink for forget it yeah, yeah you get a you get a, a tomato juice mm -hmm. tomato juice and Volca or tequila, and let's see, salt, lemon, hot pepper, and you drink it. In, con in continuous? No way, <laughs> <for sure. laughs> but that's terrible. Let's talk about something else. Come on, Janita, you just messed up with my mind. Bye, Janita. Let's Bye, see. teacher. I got more people here. Walter, hello. It's Walter. Friday, it's you? Friday. <laughs> yeah, hello, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, okay. I, and your conversation is uh, interest. interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. And drink beer, uh, vodka, uh, uh, um, a rum. Ro oh, uh, rum. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we went to the party. <laughs> yeah. A rum is a good one also. Yeah, a good rum is nice. <laughs> So tell me, uh, Walter, what are the plans for the weekend? What's you gonna do? Uh, excuse me, teacher. What are your your plans for the weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? Oh, okay. And tomorrow, teacher, I have a, a war. Um, Sunday. Yes. Uh, and my wife, my son, in the visit, uh, in Lang Mother. In land mother, mother in law, mother in law, uh, and you had um, six. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yes, so in the, you're gonna visit your mother in law. That's nice. Yeah, yes, uh, um, 
no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice phrase. Look, that, okay. you say it like this. You say it like this. Hold on. Time is not going to be. Time is not going to be enough. Okay. Time is not going to be or now. Enough. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Ah. That's, it's good yeah, that you're going to be busy. Excuse me? Es bueno estar ocupado. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Walter, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, you're welcome teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Hey, Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm fine. I'm just great. What about you? Tell me. Teacher, excuse me, I can hear you. Where are you? You're not home. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm in bed. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Nice. What are the plans for the weekend? Tell me, Roxana. I don't have a lot of plans. My plans now is maybe taking a rest. Best because okay. uh, I have a listen of absence for oh. today and tomorrow. Oh, yeah, to the, due to the procedure, right? Yeah. So okay, well. um, I can go out. Even if you want. I don't want. I prefer to stay at home taking a rest. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, I'll rest, rest, my dear. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Daniel. Hello, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm just great, just great. Tell me, what is the weekend going to bring for you? It's gonna be really, really relaxed. Tomorrow I will go with my wife to a uh, ranch. I don't know it's the right word. Yeah, ranch. yeah, a ranch. Yeah, or a yeah. cabin. And I spend all the day and the night there. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Which, are you going to go to a beach? Yeah, it's, I don't remember the name of the beach, but it's in Sonsonate. Okay, that's nice. That's excellent. So you're going to have fun. Yeah, it's, uh, um, como se dice, algo que ya hacía falta. It's something okay, that. Okay, it was, was, it was necessary. Was really missing. It was necessary. Oh yeah, it was really necessary. Or you can say it was mandatory. It was mandatory. Mandatory. Oh you yeah. Say too. Mandatory, you are expressing, it was almost an obligation. That's cool, yeah. it's good that you're going to enjoy. Mandatory. Well, be sure to enjoy your weekend. Thank you and welcome to the class, Daniel. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Marta, hello, Marta. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, and you, teacher? Well, you know, here, same old, same old. Same. <laughs> uh oh. Same old story. And tell me, what are the plans for the weekend? Okay. My weekend um, tomorrow, maybe in the morning, maybe clean my house. In the afternoon, um, maybe we'll go to 
Shopping. Go shopping. On Sunday, I I will go to warehouse. Okay. To the warehouse. Um, Sunday. Yes. Yes. And Sunday. What you gonna go do there? Uh, my schedule regular. Excuse oh, me, teacher. Regular. Your regular schedule. Yes. Yes, I will go to church. Okay. A uh, supermarket. A uh, restaurant. Just that. That's. <laughs> Well, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Ambar, what about you? What's the plan? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good well, evening. Uh, tomorrow I will work in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I, I will take a nap. In, on Sunday, maybe I will go to the Los Naranjo with my mom. Only that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's great. That's great. Just give me a second, guys. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, Amber, that's the whole thing. I mean, it's going to be like normal, regular. Sorry? It's going to be like normal, regular for you. It's going to be. I'm sorry, I don't understand your, your question. I don't hear you, teacher. It's not a question, it's an state. Sorry, I, I don't. It's not a question, it's an statement. No es una pregunta, uh, es una afirmación. Sorry. So it's going to be like normal, regular. Normal. Okay, that's cool. Well, thank you very much, I'm very welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Osorio, what about you? What's the plan for the weekend? Tell me. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello, uh, hi there. Uh, my plans uh, tomorrow I will do work for eight hours. But eight uh, hours? Eight hours. And that's a lot. <laughs> and Sunday? Yeah. And Sunday I. I want to rest and I don't have plans to go out <laughs> except no for, uh, for this weekend. No, uh, I want to rest only. Oh, uh, cool. Except cool. for uh, uh, how do you say algunas compras in English? Some some shopping. Uh -huh. Except for uh, some shopping in the supermarket only. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. So it's going to be relaxing for you this weekend. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Francisco, man, you're working. Oh, yeah, you changed. Francisco Eduardo, you changed shift. Yes, teacher. Uh, I, I changed the shift. Oh, but you're almost done. Just two more hours to go, right? Just two more hours to go. Yes. Uh, I go out uh, at 10 p.m. Teacher, uh, I don't. You, you're going to go rest home. Uh, Teacher, uh, I don't, uh, I don't listen to you. 
well let's see well i don't know why because what about you guys the rest of you can you hear me Yes. yes, yes, teacher. I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Well, Francisco, perhaps it's your connection, my friend. Impossible, teacher. Impossible. Yeah, you are like in the man, you are so far away. You are right in the border. I mean, you if you if you sleep, you will fall in Guatemala. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, teacher. welcome to the class, Francisco. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, what's for the weekend? What you got? Maybe I got the morning. Sunday. Because tomorrow my daughter takes an uh, English class in the morning and I can um, go out with my family. And I usually, when, when we go to we, I will go to the mall or supermarket on Sunday. Teacher. Okay. So like, like calm, so estar calmado. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. It's going to be a, a weekend in family. Yes, usually I, I stay with my family uh, every, every day. I, sometimes I go out, but actually I don't, I don't go out with another people. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> since since pandemic. Yeah, since pandemic. Yeah, I understand you. I understand you. Yeah, let me see. Well, you know, I'm not that much either of going out like with other people. Yo igual no salgo mucho con otra gente. They don't let me. A mí no me deja. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm like this, like checking out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome, Thank, you. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> hey, Fernando, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hello, um, Mister. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Fine. It's Friday. I'm fine. It's Friday, so you're happy. Yeah, uh, but I I will work tomorrow, so but I'm happy. <laughs> okay, just half a day or the whole day? No, the whole day. All day? Eight hours? Uh, eight or more. <laughs> my my work has no schedule. Uh, yeah, I know uh, what so that's like. That because just... the apps and all my partner, I had. Uh, yeah, you have more, more obligations. More you have more obligations to fulfill. Yeah, I understand you. Uh -huh. yeah, this is I the mean, your, your whole department is like that. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the reason because I, I will work tomorrow. Yeah, but, that's fine. That's in, fine. but when I, I when I will finish my work, my plan is prepare some rings based on the on the notes that I took when you and the near talking. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, actually, you know. If you want uh, the good receipts, you should ask Janira. She's the one that is like on top of that. Okay. I, I, She's the I cocktail the... specialist. <laughs> okay. Can, can us, uh... but, I, but I don't drink it. No problem, <laughs> I, that's I, even I better. I only prepare. <laughs> only, only, okay. only culture. Mejor aún, more for us. <laughs> it's recommended that the, the, the bartender no drink. Yeah, yeah, man. It's good <laughs> that they don't. Yes. Well, and, Fernando, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. And for uh, and so on Sunday, uh, my sister had a plan with the family. 
and oh. she she will cook and I will eat. <laughs> oh, and that's nice. Yeah, that's what I call a good distribution of the activities. Es lo que yo llamo una buena distribución. The yes. same happens here in my house, you know. I collaborate with everything. Yo les colaboro en todo. They cook, I eat. So you see, yes. it's there's equilibrium on that. Yeah. But when is the moment to pay? Oh the, yeah. <laughs> I know most what, for me. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's like. Yeah. Yeah, yo sé lo que es eso. yeah, but it's a good it's a good habit. Uh, it, it with the family. Yeah, I mean, we must enjoy those opportunities we have. Yes. Well, thank you, Fernando, and welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Claudia, what about you? What's the plan for the weekend, Claudia? I don't have an interesting plan. No. I will just be at home and I will, I will watch the uniform and the cleaning the house and I will go to church the Sunday and no more. Okay. Well, I'm and, and sleep. Okay, well that's cool. That means that you <laughs> on Monday you're going to be rested. Yes. Yeah, because sometimes going out on weekends, man, you end up like uh, tired. Yes. Well, that's good. That's good that you're going to go to church. That's important. I know they yes. sometimes take me. Yo sé, a veces me llevan. <laughs> yeah, you know, they take me like go and I'm like, okay, I will. I will. No, but it's good. It's good. Thank you, Claudia. And welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, guys, before I continue, because I just have two more of you left, but it's time for the, it's time for the attendance. Okay. And let me get the attendance from you. So be ready, please. Today is Friday, July the 23rd. Okay, perfect. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Fernando, oh, I'm sorry, Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto, José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. And Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys. Let's see. Well, I just need to talk to two more of you. Yes, I still got time for that. Nicolás, what about you? Tell me, Nicolás, what's the plan for the weekend? What you gonna do? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Okay, Good evening. teacher. Well, uh, for example, tomorrow I I call visit the dentist. The what? The dentist. 
Yes. Ouch. Yes. It's tragic and yeah. it is necessary. Yeah, it's tragic. It's tragic. This activity is in the morning. Okay. In the afternoon, what you gonna do? Subsequently, um, is probably I will eat the favorite, the favorite eat of my teacher of English. English. Okay, what you gonna eat? Pupusas. <laughs> Man, oh, that's terrible. Food, the favorite food. Your, yes, your favorite food teacher. Uh, no comments. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I will eat Isalco. Oh, you will go to Isalco? Yes, tomorrow. For mm. eat only for eat pupusas. Really? Are they any yes. good? Somewhere. It's very good. Yes, are oh, very wow. good. Wow. It's been a long while since I, since I went to Isalgo. Hace mucho que no voy a Isalgo. Uh, a long it's, while. It's beautiful. It's a it's beautiful city. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, I, I, I got relatives there. Yo tengo familia por ahí, but it's hot. Uh, it's hot. Hot. Yeah, it's Caliente. very hot. Yes. It's more or less, more or less, uh, más o menos. Well, for me, it's hot. I don't like it because of that. Well, okay. thank you, Nicolás, and okay. welcome to the this, class. This Sunday is possible. Oh, Sunday. Visit. This Sunday is possible Sunday. Visit, visit to my mother. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Roxana. I think that all or the most, la mayor parte de personas, ¿cómo sería? The most, most of the part, people. Most of the people, eh, Sunday at night eating pupusas. What do yeah. you eat? Well, sometimes they push pupusas in my throat. <laughs> A veces me meten pupusas, but I don't like them. Why? I don't understand why you hate pupusas. The normal people eat pupusas yeah, on I Sunday. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's not. I mean, you know, in here they eat pupusas Saturday and Sunday. And sometimes, like once in the week, it's also acceptable for them. <laughs> Because but in here the, they, the rest of the week, for example, when you are in your uh, workplace, what do you eat in the morning? Just beans, bread? A sandwich or cereal with yogurt. Mm. And for lunch, sandwich and sandwich. I told okay. you, Rosana, the teacher is not Salvadorian. I don't know what he is. Yeah. What is from? Uh, <laughs> he, he eats like uh, American people. Not really. Well, when, when you are in USA and visit some um, coffee shop or market, they yeah, always people is, they are, always get yeah. sandwich for lunch. Sandwich, yogurt, or fruits, something yeah. like that. Yeah, you know, for Americans, and um, I mean, lunch can be uh, whatever you put between two slices of bread. Para el americano, el almuerzo puede ser lo que sea que usted pueda poner entre dos piezas de pan. Yeah. That would be lunch for them. That's why lunch time for them is very short. But it's cereal for the breakfast. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Or coffee. Orange juice. Yeah. Orange juice or coffee for breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I like that. But they <laughs> they love um, ice sandwich. Helado. Oh, oh yeah. That's the only way I eat them. Yo solo si me los como. What? Yeah, I cannot. Uh, I don't like them cold. 
I am doing your face when something uh, say Whenever something about they... yeah. No, I love cold sandwich. I mean, that's no. that's the only way I can eat a sandwich. I don't like them. And warm. hot coffee. What? And hot coffee. Yes, sure. I, I don't understand. Cold coffee must be hot. And hot coffee. It's not too much. It's not too perfect. much. It's no. a perfectly match for me. <laughs> no, I prefer uh, things, bread, or two or three slices of a uh, plantain. Platano is pla plantain? Yeah, plantain. Plantain I, and coffee in the morning. I can I can tolerate in the morning. Okay. If I'm going to eat like a formal breakfast, for me must be scrambled eggs and scrambled eggs, and bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like that, Janine. <laughs> I love bacon. Sounds like American. It. Scrambled eggs, bacon, and some toast, tal vez una tostada, and let's see. Orange juice and coffee. And the beans? Yeah, no, you not know. Not necessarily. He's still Salvadorian. <laughs> He's American. He never yeah. eat beans. He <laughs> only eats sandwich and juice. Yes. I do. I eat beans, but it's not like He doesn't that. like horchata. He doesn't like pupusa. He doesn't mm. like gallina. Yeah. He doesn't you like know. tamales. You don't no. like the typical food? Not that much. No, orchata. What? Oh, oh. Orchata. <laughs> oh, 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 that's terrible. Pacaya. Do you eat pacaya? Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. I love them. Florte y sote? Oh, yeah, delicious. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> eh, no, I know. That's me, that's me. Okay, but now I'm, I was gonna talk to Maria. Maria Alejandra, okay. hello, how are you? These ladies are bugging me. They are attacking me, so say me, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> Tell me, what, what are your plans for the weekend? Teacher, the, the girls have a reason for you. Is it all the truth? Come on, come on. Tell me about your plans. <laughs> Teacher, um, my plans are the same. I don't change more the sad the Saturday work. I have a long day and the Sunday sun visit your mom. Uh -huh. But this Sunday maybe me have a trip with my mom and my brothers. But I don't know. Um, because my grandmother have an accident today. And the plans may be changed for may this change. situation. May change for this situation. Okay, but your grandma had, had an accident. And my grandmother had an accident. Mm, uh, yeah, it's understandable. It's comprehensible. And well, let's hope your grandma gets better. Mm, thank, thank you, you. Maria. What? Sylvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine. What about you, Sylvia? Uh, could you tell me, please, the question? How are you? How's I everything? Can I just see Oh, everything is, is good. Okay, yes, and what's the plan for the weekend? Ah, uh, for the weekend. Uh, I just have to work because I work on week oh, weekend. Oh, yes. you work weekends. That's right. What time do you yes. finish working on Sunday? On Sundays at 8, at 8 p.m. Ouch. And, and Saturdays me, at, is, at 4. Okay, which is the hardest day, Saturday or Sunday for you? Um, I think it's the same Saturday and Sunday is the same. So you got a lot of guests. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got, we are always like full. 
Ooh. We're always cold, so I don't feel a difference between Saturday and Sunday. I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, that's life, my dear. Yeah. Welcome to the class, Sylvia, and thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, yeah, it's weekends. They vary for some of us. Some of you are going to work. Some of you are going to rest. But right now we are going to do a small activity related to the manual. So we are going to go check something in the manual. Okay, guys, look. Now we are going to talk a little bit about performance, discipline, and behavior. Okay, look. We got two employees here. Look, we got Raul Perez. The employee chose commitment to work, is always punctual, does not violate rules, follows indications, likes to work in group, focuses on his responsibilities, completes the work assignment, is a leader, communicates ideas, is proactive, is collaborative, and has a positive attitude. Those are the characteristics. The ones that are checked are the ones that yes, the ones that are not, doesn't have a check, they are not. Observations, he usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not a proactive person. Look at the observations of Karen Solano. She usually comes late, but she does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. Okay, guys. Now, before we move on, I'm going to ask a question for you. Let's see. Carlos, Carlos, you, have, you are in a position where you have to deal with people, right? Great to Tell me, Carlos, what, are, what do you think are the characteristics of a good employee? Okay, for example, uh, in, in, in my area. Uh, in area, my, area. In my area of work, uh, the people how to be honest to me. Honest? Uh, honest and puntual. How do you say puntual, teacher? Punctual. Okay. Punctual. Uh, they have to know uh, the basic procedures to make a financial statement, for example, um, to all related to payment uh, providers, um, for example, um, know the law, local law uh, in, in, the, in El Salvador, in human resource, in, in I don't know how do you say Código de Trabajo. Uh, that is the, 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 the idea is, is the people have to know uh, um, laws, law, law, yes, so laws, I don't know. Laws, laws. Laws, okay, laws. Um, only that teacher, I, I, Okay. <laughs> Perfect. No, that's okay. That's okay. Daniel, what about you? What characteristics does a person need to have in order to be a good employee for your company? I believe he must be a ethic person. Okay. And be. Um, Wait, I don't remember the word. Well, uh, responsible and honest. Honest. 
honest. Okay, that's yeah. very important. That's a very good. Answer. Yeah, because in the job is very usual that the, some people say, for example, I give you a hundred if you don't do some activity that you have to do. And at the end, that's really a big trouble for the company. I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, it's very interesting. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thanks. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, we got here in the in the manual, we've got here two profiles, right? We got the profile of Raul Perez and we got Karen Solano's profile. Okay, what's the activity? What are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? The activity for you is the following one. I'll get you in groups and you are going to discuss which of these two employees would you recommend for promotion? Ustedes me van a decir, ¿cuál de estos dos me van a recomendar for promotion? Okay. I'm going to choose one person from the group, or you can design one person from the group. Ustedes me eligen una persona de grupo who's going to explain to me why did you choose that person? Okay. Que no se elijan me va a explicar por qué escogieron a dicha persona. So let me get the groups created. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Teacher, me saco del grupo. Yes, because I don't like you. Okay, thank you. Mire, la voy a mandar a un grupo. Entra y luego la voy a regresar al que le corresponde, ¿ok? Ok. The people that is not proactive or is not have a skill of leadership, I don't know. I don't true. Doesn't doesn't have. Doesn't have. I don't true. And what anybody... coming? What coming late? <laughs> yeah, both oh. coming late. Nothing. Nobody. Yeah, I but you need to promote. Anybody. You need to tell me the activity asks us for this. Hold on, just a I second. get I, I get a new employees. I don't which, agree. Which in, which is the in, anybody? Okay. Which is the first teacher? Which? Okay, you need to tell me which of these two persons should be promoted. But and it's why. not the character is not depending the the position position well it's going to be a it's going to be a team leader team leader team leader yeah. okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, remember the person that you choose is going to be a team leader a team leader okay so you need to choose one of them and tell me why do you, why would you promote that person? Okay. 
possible. Something. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some case, but she has leadership skills. Remember, the position that they are applying to is for a uh, team leader. Okay. I think the, in this case, for the guys, Charles. Okay, guys. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Is that Remember the position. The position they are applying to is for a team leader. Team leader. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The employees, the other. It's clear she, she has My leadership name. skill. Hello, guys. Uh, Hi. Remember, the position that they are applying to, the position that they are applying to is for being a team leader. Mm -hmm. So you will tell me. If you want to promote one of them, which one should be and why? Or if there's okay. no promotion, you can tell me also. If you don't okay. think none, none of them is fit to be promoted, you will explain to me why not. I don't do anything. I, I... Teacher, we have a problem. Yes, which is? Gianni quiere quitarles el puesto. ¿Cómo se She wants to fire them? Yes, yes, it's bad girl. No, it, it's not true. I say, I, I hear a new employee. Higher, because higher. Higher because I don't choose anyone. Well, you know, there's one point in favor of one of them. That somebody is really committed to the company because he signed up a commitment letter. Yes. And to become a to become a leader, I mean you could train people. Um, I don't know, maybe to born with this attitude. You have or okay. not have, <laughs> or doesn't have. Okay, well, if you think so, you will need to explain to me why not promoting none of them. Por qué no promover, uh, promoveríamos a ninguno. Correct. O sea, Janira, is it correct? Me? Okay, yes. then. Me? She, she, she I'm a correct people for the... For the <laughs> How do you say question, teacher? Position. 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 <laughs> me, me, both. Okay. Both by me. If, if you don't choose, if you don't choose none of them, explain to me why not. Okay. 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 Two minutes. Okay. Hmm. Boom. In this case, nothing. <laughs> none. But none.
let's bring them back. Okay, let's see. Group number one is Fernando, Maria Luisa, Nicolás, and Juan Walter. Who's going to talk to me from this group? Who's going to represent the group? Hey, teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, we choose Raúl Pérez. Okay, uh, why? We choose because he has a positive attitude and he is collaborative or oh, collaborative Collabor collaborative collaborative and communicates communicates mm -hmm. ideas and show commitment to work he has uh no, nobody's perfect so he usually conveys but it's it will be fixed Okay, perfect. Thank you. Group number two is Ambar, Carlos, Claudia, and Maria Alejandra. Who's going to talk to me? I don't choose, I choose one. <laughs> okay, you didn't choose one. Let's see, then I will pick. Just go ahead. Ambar, tell me. Who is the person you as a group decided? Nobody? Well, uh, we we think the best option is Raul because he he has a good attitude and he he will or he could improve in the future. Uh, is better option than Karen because she has a bad attitude and she she doesn't respect the rules of, of the company. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank the you. Company teacher. rules. The company rules. The company rules. Okay, group number three is Jose Osorio, Silvia, and Susana. Who's going to talk to me? Tell me, guys. Me va a contar que decidieron. Uh, uh, I am. Uh, 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 Julia. Nosotros, Data. We, uh, we over, overthink. We. Yes. Overthink. Um, Karen Solano. Uh, should, be, should be promote, promote because. From all, uh, he has a leadership skill. She has leadership skills. Okay, that's the uh, yes. Uh, you... When when the uh, position is for leader, uh -huh. uh, she has a cumple. How do you say cumple? Fulfills. Fulfill. Uh, the qual qualities, quality. qualities, 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 qualities. Well, no, no qualities, characteristics. Characteristics. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. 
Let's see, group number four was Daniel, Francisco, and William. Okay, who's going to tell me? Who was your pick? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Daniel, talk to me. We chose the right person for the position was Karen Solano. Okay. Because she has leadership skills, she is uh -huh. proactive, collaborative, and okay. she likes to work in group. Okay, so those are the reasons. Yeah, the major Perfect. reasons. Excellent, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. Group number five, Marta, Roxana, and Shanira. Okay, tell me guys, what did you decide? Well, we think um, anyone, because we don't choose anyone for this position, because we need a reactable or trusty person and with a leadership attitude. I think so, I guess, that some attitude to burn with this, but and leadership is one of them. Uh, I think that you can uh, acquire a leadership attitude in the life to burn with this. This is a reason that we think Anyone is good for this position. Perfect. Very interesting. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to go a little bit backwards. Vamos a irnos un poquito más atrás en mano. Well, before that, I will get the appendix. I'm sorry, guys. I need to get it again. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaya Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. And Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys, let's see. Teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Yes, mister. I type your name, don't worry. Si se lo toma en cuenta. Okie dokie, let's see, let's go right now to the conversation. Okay. We have a conversation here that as usual, I'm going to repeat for you. I'm going to also give you the image of the conversation so you can have it there handy. Then I will divide you in groups, you practice, and then I'll take the conversation from you. Okay, and it goes like this. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. 
Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Okay, I repeat once again. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Okay. I repeat one more time. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Okay, guys, let's see. Groups created, please jump in, let's do it. Hurry up, three minutes to practice. Sylvia. The teacher, I got disconnected. Oh, thank you. No problem. And we have about him from his supervisor. Is that he is responsible? I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a manager position? Okay, one more time. I start. Good morning. This is Mr. Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. 
How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider real position? Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back in 15 seconds. Okay, let's see. Claudia Ramos and Nicolás Méndez. Claudia, you'll start. Okay. Good, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Mr. G. Rigid. This is, this is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some preference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is secure required? Okay, required at at a man managerial managerial position. Required at managerial position. Thank you very much, both of you. Now, Jose Osorio and Marta Morales. Jose, you'll start. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has weighed what 
it is required at a manager managerial position. Perfect, very well done, both of you. Now, Maria Alejandra Thank and you. Roxana, please. Maria Alejandra, uh, no, I'm sorry, Roxana starts. Okay. Good morning. This is Miss. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Matt from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Matt. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking some, we are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsa responsible. responsible. I see. <laughs> I see. Do you consider he has what it is required as a manager as a man managerial position? Okay, guys, very well done. Thank you. Now let's see Amber and Carlos. And Amber, you'll start. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez doesn't not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his, from his supervisor is that he's responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is it is required at a managerial managerial position? Okay. Do you consider? Do you consider? Do you consider? Perfect. Thank you very much. Susana and William. Let's see. Susana and William Rosales. So, Susana, you start. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some referees. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez doesn't not have any worries at the feedback. We have about him from his supervisor is that is his responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is recruited at man manager position? Required at a managerial position. Uh, Excellent. Required at a managerial guys. position. Fernando and Janira. Fernando, you'll start. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from EHR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez uh, doesn't have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he's responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Okay, perfect. Both of you, thank you very much. Daniel and Walter. Daniel, you'll start. Okay, teacher, give me a little second. Good morning. This is, this is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good, good morning, Mr. Rajit. Uh, this is Matt from Human Resource. How can I help you? 
Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not, does not, does not have any rhyming and the fax by earning and the fax by fat back feedback feedback no. feedback no, we had about we had about in from the supervisor is that he is responsible i see do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position. Okay, perfect. Walter, remember, kind, kind. What kind of information? Okay. Francisco okay. and Maria Luisa. Francisco, you'll start. Sure, give me a second. Okay, no okay. problem. We'll wait for Good you. Good morning. Okay, teacher. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Brigitte. Good, Good morning, Mr. Brigitte. This is Max from Human Research. Uh, no, SR. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information uh, do you do you need? We are checking one some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not, not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is a required at a managerial position? Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Carlos, you are going to help me with Sylvia. Okay, Carlos, you will start. Hey, teacher. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigi. Uh, good morning, Mr. Rigi. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you want? Do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez doesn't have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Yes. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Please excuse me just for a second. Disculpenme solo un momento. Okay, I am back. I'm so sorry, guys. Now, let's see. Now we go back again to work as groups. What we are going Did to do know? is this. Yes? I have a question. What is Tell the me. difference 
between manager position or managerial position? Manager position, uh -uh. managerial position. Es una posición gerencial. So the correct form is managerial position. Mm -hmm. Or you can say the position as a manager. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, guys, look at the question you got in the chat. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Do you remember that I asked that question to Daniel and to Carlos? Now, I'm going to divide you in groups of three. And what you're going to do is make a list of the five most important qualities you think a person, a good employee needs to have in general. Okay, we are talking in general. Let me create the groups, please. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. You got five minutes. I think, or oh, in my opinion, uh, must be a collaborative person. I think. Collaborative. 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 Collaborative person. Punctual. And re respectful of yeah that's really important respect to of este cómo se diría como las regulaciones laborales company policies uh -huh. respect to of company policies maybe Polite. Um, Perfect. Light work to in the group. Be able to work in group. Follows the indication. Is is good. Okay. Follow instructions. Follow instructions. Follow instructions. Okay. okay. Respect, respect the rules. Focuses. Focuses. And yes, other other quality are fo focuses in his responsibilities. Repeat. Focus focuses uh, no, on focuses. his focuses. 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 focuses 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 on his responsibilities. On his responsibilities. Yes. Uh, You're welcome. To learn, to learn, to learn, who wants to learn, to learn. and to want to learn. Cool. Who? 
be proactive. 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 Actually, be responsible is uh, the most important, I think, because in this moment when you work at home, uh, if you want, you can work, for example, but if you are responsible, uh, you have to work and wake up early, for example, uh, how do you say complete, teacher? Sorry? How do you say complete? Give me complete a complete the word assignment. Comply. 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 Maybe complete the word assign. Okay, complete the assigned activities. Okay, 60 seconds. You ready? Yes, we got it. We got it. Yes, we are good. Okay, let's see, let's see. Tell me. Jose, Jose Osorio. Yes, teacher. Tell me in your group, what characteristics did you decide as a group? Uh, we think it uh, we, we think it must be a, a collaborative person and punctual respect of of work regulations and could be a proactive person perfect thank you very much proactive person follow regulations excellent fernando maria luisa marta and william let's see who's gonna talk to me fernando gonzalez tell me what did you decide as a group uh, my group consider the abilities that that person will 
um, the person uh, must be must be have must be have uh, must be must be uh, must, must be. have must have no. let's see the person must be yes the person must be okay the person must be is uh positive positive aptitude responsible uh -huh. honest be able to work in groups and profit. Okay, perfect. Honest, very interesting. A positive attitude, great, great. Group number three, I got Claudia, Nicolás, Roxana, and Walter. Let's see. Nicolás, what did your group decide? Okay, my group, uh, the opinion of my group is, uh, the quality, principal quality are organizer, organizer, or, or organize, organize. Uh, is always compliant, is focuses, focuses on his responsibilities, uh, communicated ideas, is proactive, has a positive attitude, uh, motivator and to be honest okay perfect very good very good excellent 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 now in the last group i got carlos silvia susana and shanira let's see who is going to talk to me let's see shanira tell me what did your group decide Okay, we think that the qualities it should have was uh, responsible, follows indication, honest, proactive, uh, someone that complete the assigned activities, positive attitude, who wants to learn, and good to communi co communicate ideas. Okay, communicate. Communicate. communicate ideas. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see. Wow, we have done many things tonight. That's great. Okay. Now, guys, I'll give you Two minutes, but I'm not going to send you to groups. We are going to be here together to perform this activity. Let me share with you. Oops. Okay. If you remember, we use the present progressive for ongoing actions. And you remember that we talk about ongoing situations and the structure is Subject plus verb B plus verb and ing form plus complement. Okay, now examples. We are updating the information this weekend. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. In negative statements, add the particle not after the verb B. So remember, they will be we are not updating the information this weekend, or it could be the staff is not planning to give him a promotion. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? Write sentences using the present progressive forms of the verbs in parentheses. Now, we got plan, call, check, write, send, and speak. Let's remember, let's remember something. When we got the verb plan, this verb, it's one syllable, okay? And it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. Este es un verbo de una sílaba que termina en consonante, vocal, consonante. Doubles the last letter. Duplica la última letra y agrega ing. Then remember, if the verb ends in e, si el verbo termina en e, preceded by a consonant, we change the E for ING. Eliminamos la E y agregamos ING. 
So, you are going to have exactly two minutes here together, everybody together, to perform these sentences. So you need to write sentences using the verbs that appear there. Okay, remember plan, call, check, write, send, and speak. Let's do them. Let's write those sentences. Because I will ask you to send me a picture of the sentence. Teacher, please. excuse me. Voy teacher. A una fotografía de ese. teacher, excuse me. Yes, Walter. Eh, me voy a tener que retirar porque tengo que ir a hacer algo de emergencia. Okay, ya no voy a I poder porque un minuto. Ahí me pone presente. <laughs> no problem, Walter. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bien. Teacher, and yes. question, uh, but uh, use, en, así en español, es como que agrego en la, en la oración, como que estoy diciendo, ando, yendo, algo así. Como dice, we are, eh, variamos, we are planning. Eh, the... Estamos planeando, yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Yes, mister. Uh, we have to send you a, or... a, a picture of the of the sentences you create, please. Okay. Uh, word and what's up? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Okay, Shanira, uh, the verb be the auxiliary. I am planning. Okay. Okay, great, excellent, excellent. I'm receiving one, two, I got three already, great.
perfect. Thank you. Great, great, guys. Carlos, thank you. Okay, let's see. Shanira, give me one of your sentences, please. Let's use the verb. I'll tell you the verb and you give me the sentence. Okay. okay. So Shanira, the verb plan. Sorry, sir. So, sorry, teacher. How do you say yes. check in Spanish? What? Check? Check. Revisar. How do you check? Yes, how are you? Revisar. Okay, thank you. I am yes, checking, I'm planning the activities for the weekend right now. Okay, I am planning the activities for the weekend right now. Excellent. Now the verb call, the verb call, Fernando. I am calling to the pizza delivery. Okay, I am calling to the pizza delivery, great. Let's see, Roxana, you got check. I am checking the manual. The manual, manual. Manual. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Susana. Excellent. Carlos, you got right. I write a letter. I write in a letter. I am writing a letter. Perfect. Now let's see, Maria Alejandra, you got sin. Teacher, uh, I am spending a lot of money in the shoes for, for buy the shoes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now, Roxana, you got speak. We are speaking with the provider. We are speaking with the provider. Okay. Perfect. Let's see, I got Amber, Jose. Okay, guys, well, I have to check a lot tonight. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. Before anything else, let me get the, the attendance, please. Ambarelli Alfaro. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher, present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. 
Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Anda ayudarle a tu hermano. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. En Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Oh, Kidoki. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But I was asking sentences. So, Silvia, give me a sentence with the verb speak. I'm speaking. Um, I'm speaking more fast. I don't know. I'm speaking faster. That's correct. I'm yeah. speaking faster. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Claudia, please one sentence with the verb write. Right. 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 Okay. I'm writing a letter to my father. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Daniel, the bird check. My cat is checking his bowl of food. Okay. My cat is checking out. In that case, he's checking out. Okay. Thanks. Perfect, excellent. No, thanks to you. Hey guys, believe it or not, time's over. Veamos, no se nos fue el tiempo. Thank you Teacher, very much. Yes. Perdón, una consulta con la tarea de ayer. Eh, hay una, uno de las oraciones que no, no me permite continuar. No sé si yo lo estoy haciendo mal o tiene algún error. It's number 13, right? 14. Yes, y es de two sentences. Mm -hmm. We are in section number three. Exercise number. 13, number 13. two. 13. Yes, 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 yes. I have made a report, he hecho un reporte. Eh, estoy, estoy esperando que me confirmen si lo están solventando y yo les comento mañana, espero que esté arreglado. ¿Cuál de ellas era, me dijeron? It's the number two. two. Yeah, I am writing yes. the memo right now. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, guys. Well, what homework is? 13. 13. Number two. I'm writing a memo. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. guys, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Thank, thank you. you. You too. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank, thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good, good Monday. Good Monday. Monday. Okay, Silvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm good. Uh, what about you? I'm just great. Okay. Just let That's me take perfect. something to your classmates. Okay, no problem. Okay. Perfect. So tell me, tell me, tell me, how are we doing with the classes? Is there something that you would like me to help you with? Um, no, everything is, is fine. Uh, the class is very, 
it's, it's very good because a lot of exercises and activities. Uh, the only thing is um, like giving giving more vocabulary. You you give us vocabulary. That's one of the things that I like from this class because you're always giving us a uh, new vocabulary. Um, but you yes. would like more vocabulary. <laughs> yes, because to speak is, is very good to have like words to say, uh, to express, because sometimes we don't know how to express. Uh, we don't know the word. And, and that's, that's all I, I would like to have more uh, vocabulary, okay. but everything is good. Yes. Okay, well, yes, you must remember that still is a basic six, so the vocabulary yes. is, is a little bit limited, but let me see, we can work in the platform, okay? And let me mm -hmm. show you where. Hold on, I need to raise this. Okay. And here. Okay, you get into the platform like this, right? Yes. Okay, you see down here where it says Centro de Ayuda? Yes. Okay, you click there. Then here in Centro de Ayuda, you come down here to Recursos Académicos. Yes. There's grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Thank you. And you got to look, everyday activities, personal care products, household cleaning and laundry, outside the home, the apartment building, housing utilities, gardening, numbers, time and date, places, places around town, the city, the classroom, adjectives. I mean, if you see, there's a big list. Oh my God, thank you. I didn't know that part of the platform. So now I know and I can practice my... Yeah, new that way you can, I mean, there you can access more vocabulary. Do you remember the word, how to find it? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'm going to look it up. Yes. Yeah, look it up. You will see. I mean, and remember with vocabulary, the most important thing is this, that uh, the only way that you're really going to get it, like quite get it, is if you start like using it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. That's something that you need to do to use the vocabulary. Otherwise, I mean, you won't quite get it. You won't memorize it. You need to, to use it because you can memorize the word, but if you don't put it into practice, I mean, with the pass of time, you will forget it soon. Yes, that happens to me sometimes because I'm always like studying vocabulary in your phrases. And because of I, I try to remember a lot of words, sometimes I like lost or I just forget some words that I have studied. Yeah, and as I tell you, I mean, what you should do, you get a new vocabulary, try to use it in two, three different situations along your day, mm -hmm. on your mind. I mean, there's always a certain moment where we can like, even if you want to speak them out loud to pronounce them and you can do it like that. Oh yes, that's a good way to, to remember it, to memorize uh, words and phrases. Yeah, well, as I tell you, that works for some people. I don't know if it works for you, but try it. I mean, you won't lose anything by trying. Mm -hmm, yes. Yes, thank you. I'll do it. Yeah, and I mean, that exercise will help you a lot. But remember, vocabulary is not just reading and getting the, the, the big bunch of words. Vocabulary, mm -hmm. getting vocabulary is about, it's mostly about sitting down and getting the word, trying to use it, to apply it into something, put the vocabulary into practice. That's the way you really, really memorize it. Yes, that's it. That's true. Well, I don't know if there's anything else that you would like me to perhaps help. Mm. Mm, I think everything is, is good. I think everything is good, yes. Okay, well, it's a pleasure to have you on all of our classes. So tell me a little bit, uh, how is it uh, going in your in your company? Are you still like speaking English on a daily basis? Yes, uh, actually I'm 
um, I'm working with a girl who is not, she's not from here. She's from another country. She's from Suiza. Switzerland. 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 Yes. Um, sometimes because we have like a Spanish Academy. And yes. that's another project. So I'm start working with them and I am like coordinating the coordinating the classes. Uh, so I have the opportunity to speak more in English because I have to like uh, make the appointments. I have to contact the, the professor and then the client. Um, I have to schedule the classes and I have the, the opportunity to, to speak more English and that is good for me. And there are a lot of foreigners in the hotel right now. So I have to speak with them all the time. Okay, foreigners, yes. foreigners. Foreigners, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just no, told no me problem. last time, right? Yeah, but don't <laughs> worry, as I tell you, the problem is that it's not a word that you use all the time. That's why yes, sometimes I mean foreigners. that happens to me a lot. I mean, there's a lot of vocabulary that I don't quite use on a regular basis. And yes. of course, it's it always affects. But I mean, it's excellent that you got the opportunity. Take advantage of that. I mean, it's very important that you take advantage of that opportunity because I mean it's a special situation. Yours. Yes. You got you got the chance to speak it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And even simple words, but if you listen to people passing by speaking in English, I mean, you are getting in contact with the language. Yes. Now I can understand. Now, now I understand when someone is speaking English, when someone is like passing or uh, I just hear speaking. But uh, before I didn't understand anything and I just uh, and I was just like frustrated because I studied and studied all time. And when I didn't understand, I, I felt like I was like, was wasting my time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was frustrating. <laughs> it was frustrating for me when I didn't understand, but now I can, mm. and that's good for me. And I feel, I feel good. I mean, and you will realize, you will realize that with the pass of time, I mean, you're going to start picking more and more of what they are yes. saying. Yes. And that's normal and the same. You will realize that there are some people that you will catch their accent fast. And there's some people mm -hmm. that, man, they're going to be speaking and you're going to be like, what? Like, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. That happens. Remember that yeah. accents vary. So don't feel frustrated if you feel like, man, I'm not understanding. No, it's just that <laughs> with some accents, it takes a little bit more of time. Like people from New Zealand, people from Australia, I mean, they speak from English, New but... York. Yes, yeah. the people from from New York, uh, they are like those black people. Yes. Uh, they speak. I I understand their English because they speak very clear. Yeah. Yes, but, but there are New other York. people that. Yes, and there are other people that. They are speaking very, very fast and it's very hard to catch words. Yes. Yeah, but remember, even the speed, the speed of the speaking, that varies according to the person because I mean, there's some people who always speak slow and clear and fine and that's not difficult for you to understand. But there's some people that when they are start speaking, they start speaking like a high speed and they are like running all the time. That's <laughs> yes. normal, I mean. That happens in, in any given language. But the good thing is that you got the opportunity. And as you say by yourself, you are realizing that, I mean, step by step, you're getting, you're catching on with more vocabulary. Yes, that's it. But it's very hard for me too when, uh, when a client is like um, disappointed or is complaining for something because there's no hot water in the room or something happens in the room or during his, his or her experience. And I have to like uh, answer and try to give a solution or try to uh, solve the, the problem in English. And it's very hard for me because I have to use uh, new words 
or, or words that I haven't uh, used before. Yeah, that's normal, <laughs> yeah. that's normal. And uh, the first time you get like, what? How do I do? What, what do I do in this situation? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just a matter of practice. You know what? Yeah. Just give me a sip. Not a problem. Whenever you have any doubt, text me, okay? I'm here to help you. Okay, thank you, teacher. I really yeah. appreciate it. No, no, no. I appreciate having you in my class. It was a pleasure. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. See you Monday.